Hello everyone, I'm Grizzly. This is SSS Veda 2015 Day 8. First third of a month is going straight. I still don't feel pretty much comfortable speaking in English language in front of a camera, but I have to say I'm a bit more comfortable than the first time. However, today has, today's argument is most adventurous thing you've done. And I think I have the right story just for you. Let's tell it. It was January the 3rd, 2014, it was a Friday, and I was just returning home from the Netherlands. I had a last minute trip to the Netherlands for the New Year's Eve. Uh, it was interesting, although it was pretty rainy, but this is an old story. However, I arrived to the Catania Fontana Rossa airport, I believe at noon, around noon. So I take my luggage and the first thing I did was <coughs> I'm going to a shopping mall nearby to take a coffee and make some grocery because I was alone in my house so I had to make grocery for lunch, dinner and so on. And while I was there, um, time passed, uh, we arrived around at uh, 1 I believe, and there were a couple of restaurants in, inside the shopping mall so I was like, I may stop here for lunch. But then I thought, okay, but it's maybe a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes trip from here to my home, so I may just take the car and return back home. And I did it. It was like, okay, I, will, I may leave my luggage, I may have a shower. It was much more interesting. However, to reach my house I had to take uh, part of a freeway which is called Circonvallazione. It's not exactly a freeway because it's uh, running all around the uh, town of Catania. And this kind of freeway, this Circonvallazione, will bring you effectively into the freeway which is in my case Catania Circle Freeway. And, just when uh, you leave the Circonvallazione and you enter the freeway, I believe a couple of hundred meters away from the entrance in the freeway, I mean less than 600 foot away, there's an exit that will bring you into the Catania City industrial area and to another shopping mall, I may tell the name, is the IKEA shopping center. Uh, you know, the, I, I don't know if the spell is this, in Italian we call it IKEA, is the, that uh, Swedish uh, furniture maker, you know. Now, when I was going, when I was pointing toward the freeway, I saw the big IKEA sign from distance and I thought, okay, I might arrive home, but what about a nice dish of that Swedish meatballs? Okay, let's do it. So I just entered the freeway and left it after uh, that 200 meters, you know? And, oh, well, though it was Friday, uh, there wasn't uh, much confusion inside the shopping center. The parking lot was almost deserted, so I just... Uh, entered the parking lot and I was, okay, I may park anywhere, but then I decided there is a part of the parking lot which has some photovoltaic panels uh, that generates power for the shopping center itself, and you may park under these panels, so you will get a little shadow. I had a, uh, I had a, a dark colored car in that period, now I have a white one, so I wasn't uh, too much to leave my car under the sun, so I thought, okay, let's park there. I um, strolled around the parking lot, I reached that area with the um, solar panels, and just watching in front of me, just watching the street, and um, the parking uh, area was at my left, I was just like, uh, when I can park, not here, not here, not here, okay, there, the next one without even looking at, so I just mm, uh, turned on my signal light, I started turning and I stopped, because I saw something pretty weird. Now, I will describe you what happened, consider this, what happened as, um, I will describe it with details, but it happened in, I believe, a couple of seconds. The first thing I saw was a black car 
in the middle of the lane, maybe 100 meters away from me, exactly in the middle of the lane, and three or four persons frantically running away from that car. I was like, what the heck are they doing? Then I looked again at the car and I saw a puff of black smoke coming from the car itself. What's that? I looked under the car and I saw a live flame under the car behind the engine. I was, I believe in a second, uh, you may tell the mouse inside my head started spinning as well. Ah yes, they are running away because that car is on fire. Oh my god, that car is on fire! That car is on fire, that car is on fire! What can I do, what can I do, what can I do? It happens I have a fire extinguisher in my car, bolted behind the rear seat. So I just, first gear, go straight, I stop it in the middle of the lane, to stop cars that could be behind me to go straight and pass nearby. I stopped at the right distance to be sure that the car, if the car were engulfed in flames, uh, my car wasn't involved too. Uh, yes, consider this. Only in movies a car on fire may explode. A car will basically never explode. But a car on fire might be engulfed in flames in less than a minute. This would happen. This might happen, believe me. Anyway, I stopped it in the middle of the lane. I went off the car, frantically take the fire extinguisher, go straight through the car, and I went off all the fire extinguisher to stop that fire, covering the engine in that ammonia powder, that blue ammonia powder. And that's my adventure. But. Here comes the tricky part, because not only in my car I have a fire extinguisher, it happens that in my car I also have a dash cam. So I was able to save the footage from that moment, and I will put the link in the doobly-doo or in the card up there. You may take a look at that video. It's the actual footage of what has happened on January the 3rd, 2014, in the parking lot of a shopping mall in uh, Catania. When I saw a car on fire, and I basically saved that car before it was in, completely engulfed in fire. That was my adventure, and that video you may look, you will find in the doobly doo or in the card. You may also thumbs up that video if you like, you may share that video if you like. That video is also a little message. Consider the idea to have a fire extinguisher in your car, even a little bottle, a kind of a one liter or two liter bottle, can be the difference between a car with some little damages due to fire and a complete pile of smoking wreckage ready for garbage. That's it, that was my adventure. And what was your adventure? Let me know in the comments below, or let me know in the comments below if you're doing VEDA as me. That's it, so we will see you tomorrow with the next VEDA vlog. Thanks for strolling around, thanks for watching, bye!